So today we're gonna to take a look at free adjustment layers for Final Cut Pro. And I'm gonna have a link to these in the description that you can download. So you can actually uh, make these yourself in motion, essentially uh, just uh, creating a blank title template. However, if you don't wanna do that or don't know how, I'll show you an easy way to get adjustment layers for Final Cut Pro. So first up is from a company called Ripple Training. They're a great company. They do a lot of training on different editing platforms, including Final Cut Pro. I really recommend you take a look at them. They got a lot of great tutorials online, as well as they have a ton of plugins, and some of which are free, including this one. So this is their adjustment layer. It's a free download, and I'll show you how to apply that in the Final Cut Pro in a minute. Next up is a website called Death by Blog, and this person has a bunch of free different adjustment layers for different aspect ratios, and I'll show you how to apply those as well. Then finally, Alex4D. This guy is a Final Cut Pro expert. Uh, he's very active online and has created a bunch of free plugins. And he also has a free adjustment layer. So once you download these, you're gonna to wanna to take them and put them in your motion templates folder and then into the subfolder titles. And basically you can just drag and drop this in from your downloads folder into your titles folder. And I'll show you a little tip about how to better organize these so you can find what you're looking for a little more easily. And you can see here that these are really just motion title templates. And when you go back into Final Cut Pro and you search under titles and you search under adjustment layer, you will see that they've been added. And you can see the Ripple Training adjustment layers added, Alex4D's adjustment layers added, as well as these other ones now to save time and organize, I've renamed some of the folders. What I've done is I went through and I renamed these and I renamed each file to start with adjustment. So when I'm searching for adjustment layers, they'll come right up. And when you go back and you search for them in the titles under the word adjustment, they pop up now. Because if you're like me, you've accumulated a lot of different title templates. So this just helps keep you a little more organized. And one other thing, when you're applying these adjustment layers to your timeline, Here's a little tip. You can drag and drop them on top for sure, but if you want a quicker way to drop them onto your timeline on top of your track, just hit the Q button. That's the keyboard shortcut to drop it on top of your track. And you can just pop these right on, as you can see here. So just to recap on adjustment layers, if you're looking to apply an effect or a LUT or something across multiple clips, adjustment layers are a handy way to do that. So that's it for today. I just thought this might be useful for some people, especially if they're looking for free adjustment layers or how to apply them. Once again, I have the links for these in the description below. So check them out, check out the websites. There's lots of good information there as well. So hopefully you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll have more tutorials for you soon.